Hey, doing? It's Stefan from Blue Bayou, and uh, today, well, it's Monday. It's kind of like I would say it's. I starting to be serious at work there, waking up uh, seven thirty in the morning, and uh, well, you know, I don't have to do any driving, and that's that's the good part. <laughs> and yeah, get to work, and uh, did quite a few things there. With, I'm gonna go show you later when I'm in my uh, excavator right now because uh, I've ordered some uh, some culverts because uh, there's a lot of water that was coming down the road right here. This is the road coming down, and I've ordered two. These are two 20 footers, one and two. Uh, just put them in there and start burying them. Um, Doing this all by myself kind of uh, takes a while, but it's okay. And I have another piece somewhere. Where the hell is it? Uh, it's right behind here. So we got that piece right here that's gonna finish it off. It's gonna go from there to there. And I'm gonna open all of that. There's water there in the back. So every time, every water, all the water is gonna be coming down this hill. That's gonna hit this culvert right there. And every water, all the water is going to coming down that hill. It's kind of a bit of water that seep through that hill all the time. So even though it's not raining, I think it's like a, it's like groundwater. And because of that, we always had water that goes over the road. And yeah, we'll fix that. It's something that's it's a good time to do it right now. Nobody's here. <laughs> all the damage I want, and um, make her look pretty. All right, Stefan, alone at Blue Bayou Resort. Uh, stay tuned. I'll uh, be filming some more stuff, sharing with you. Have a good one. Okay, now I um, I just decided to take a walk up and uh, decided to show you where I was going to put the second cozy shack. Uh, the second cozy shack, if for the ones that knows uh, the place a little bit, don't behind me right now. That dome right there. Dome number 13, and that would be the electrical building right there. And that 13 is, is there, and then it would be 14, 15, 16, and 17, which is the last dome we got. 17 went back there. And that's where the tractor is down there. That's where you come in. Put the tractor there because of the culvert that I'm working on at the bottom of the hill. Uh, it's filled with dirt and all that, but the uh, dirt is so soft that anybody that would drive down there would would get stuck. So I figured I'll I'll stop the traffic for now. So uh, yeah, no, this is uh, this is where we're going to be putting the cozy shack number two. Which, if you want to see where the first one is up there, and then oh. Trailer is trailers up there. Oops. Trailers up there, and the cozy shack number one's up there. So, yeah. it's uh, it's skewed right now. I just gotta bring the front where the pile of rock is, pretty much the front right there where the pile of rock is, so that it's more like more pair, uh, straight because uh, right now I just pulled it in and drop it like I said I just that's the reason why I decided to use this lot is this is a lot that's kind of on an angle and yeah sure it's easy to pull something in but it just and it's on a hill too uh, this is a little a little hill type of thing so it's it wouldn't be straight and all that so that's why i'm putting all these uh these cozy shack or diff well I, the reason i put that one up there is because it's hard to back into there's only that one road so if somebody will, wants to use that lot as a with their rv it'd be complicated to bring their rv back there so that's why those two lots are are were used for the cozy shack and that trailer dutchman Again, I was supposed to buy another Dutchman or another park size trailer, but instead I decided, oh, well, let's just get a cozy shack. 
You know, uh, I like the Cozy Shack much better. They last longer. They're, I can insulate them better and I can rent them in winter. So, and that yellow trailer that's down there that I showed you on the previous, previous, uh, the first uh, video I did this year. So the, the, this one, you see, this is a nice straight lot. So that's, that's I'll keep this one for, um, for RVs because it's nice and straight. You back up and everything, you know, you don't have to set too much, anything too much. And then the same thing with these two right here. They're nice and straight. I got the uh, fire pit. And see this one, not straight, a little on a wob, like goes down that side a bit there. So this one, I'll, uh, I put some pickets in that the pickets are gonna be the deck I'll be putting in. The trailer's gonna be back there. You can pull in right here in front of where the fire pit is. The fire pit, whatever, is right there right now, but whatever, we'll figure out a nice place to put it. Make some, put some lights on, nice deck with a shower and a toilet that's gonna be just on the deck type of thing with like a privacy and a tank for it the toilet and the shower well there's a septic pipe right there that's the electrical needed and the water so we'll do the same thing we'll put a propane eater on this uh, this unit that's going to be built here and yeah i can't wait i kind of had the idea of what i'm going to do but uh until i do it <laughs> you guys just gotta imagine it right now all right, I'll uh, shoot another video down there when I get down there. So um, I got to walk. So <laughs> okay, have a good one. Um, I put the tractor there tonight, I'm trying to keep the people from uh, from driving down the driveway because I did the culvert. Uh, just because when I uh, put the dirt back in, it's it's kind of wet and geez, it's almost getting stuck with the tractor. I was sinking anyway. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna let it dry for a few days and, and then I'll probably order a, a load of gravel or something anyway, just to uh, finish everything off, make it nice and, and, and more sturdy because right now, any vehicle would come down there, it'd probably get stuck. Oh, oh, you can see what I did. Um, try, I kind of dig here a little bit just because I'm trying to get the water to go down that way. Because uh, if there's water that comes on the road, that's gonna, ain't gonna dry. And I put the culvert, that's wherever you see all the rough dirt there that's uh, pretty much where I dig and again I put the dirt back together but it's that dirt's got a lot of water in it so yeah so you got water coming down and it's a constant constant constantly water here that's why I needed to do this uh, the culvert's right there and then there's also water coming from this side so it takes the water from the whole hill, practically, whenever it rains and all that, whatever water it finds its way in this area, well, it's gonna go through this pipe. And hopefully when this is dry, it's gonna be nice and solid right now. I'm just walking on top of it now, and I'm sinking. The quicksand. And uh, at one point there, I'm just gonna probably remove uh, some rocks here a little bit so to, to, to let it drain a little bit more so it can reach that area. Uh, but it's okay for now. But again, when I take get rid of all this this stuff that was in under my road, <laughs> yeah, some 
stuff you find out sometimes. Uh, another thing I did in the morning when I first so wake up there, I started off with uh, cutting some more wood. Uh, I had to, uh, the snow melted and I found more wood out there. So I brought it in and started cutting it again. Yeah, blame it on the snow melting. Uh, <laughs> And I had some help with uh, Shen Shen. She uh, was moving some of that wood here. And yeah, just gotta keep on going, keep cutting. Well, you know, the beauty of it all is I don't have to worry too much if it rains, I can still work. So maybe I'll, that's what I'll do. I'll leave this for a rainy day anyway. Or do a little bit every day type of thing. All right. I can't wait to see. Uh, I can't wait for us to open for the season. So that people can come here and enjoy kayaking and canoeing. And good old camping. Those were the dogs from last year. Uh, they'll be putting we'll be putting it in the water in the next few weeks or whenever a good day comes around all right have a good one step on at the bayou